So let's draw the BC. And BC is given as 5 centimeter. To draw AB, let's take a rounder, measure length BC, oh sorry AB, and then measure length AB. I do not have a rounder here, I am just doing an approximation. You can take one ruler and a rounder, and with the help of that put a pointer here on B draw an arc for AB and then put a pointer on C and draw an arc for AC of measurement 3.4 and then try to join both of them so once you join this point then you join this point so you would be able to see that this is my BC of 5.5 centimeter with the help of a ruler now I'll have a AB of 5 centimeter through an arc and then AC of 3.4 centimeter through an arc A so in this case I have just got one single point of A and once I join triangle ABC I would get a triangle which would be one single triangle which is an exact replica of this triangle. So that means if I have three sides of a given triangle, I can draw an exact replica of that triangle. So in other words, or if I see from this perspective, if I have a triangle ABC and a triangle PQR, And if I am given the measurements of all the three sides, AB, BC, and CA, and in this case, I am given the measurements of PQ, QR, and RP, then I can say if these measurements correspondingly AB is equal to PQ and BC is equal to QR, and AC is equal to PR if these measurements are equal all the three in that case I can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR for the correspondence of ABC corresponding to PQR that means A is falling on P, B is falling on Q and C is falling on R so let's summarize this. Let me go to the next page. So the summary is to say that the two triangles are congruent. Are congruent. We can correspondence the corresponding sides or in this case it should be right to say all sides needs to be equal for the given correspondence That means, I'll repeat again, if we want to say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR, the sides AB, PQ, sides AB should be equal to side PQ, BC should be equal to QR, and AC should be equal to PR. And the correspondence is, ABC is corresponding to PQR. Now, one more thing I would like to emphasize here is when I say that triangle ABC is corresponding to triangle P or is congruent to triangle PQR, it 
means that it is for this correspondence and we do not need to write it always. So if it is for a another correspondence, then this ABC is congruent to QRP, should have been written like this. If it is for the correspondence of ABC being corresponding to QRP. So if I denote ABC as QRP or ABC as PQR, it means that A is falling on P, B is falling on Q and C is falling on R. I mean he not explicitly how to write that ABC is corresponding to PQR. From these letters itself, it is has to be intuitive. So this is for this correspondence and one more thing before I finish it off because it contains all sides this criteria is known as SSS criteria for correspondence for congruence of triangles So what is the criteria? Criteria is if all sides are equal, we say that the true triangles are congruent to each other. So for this, vi uh, this video, we will meet in the next video where we will talk about more on another criteria for congruence of triangles. Thank you.